championing New Yorkers who make minimum wage will be getting a raise in about three months. This will provide another boost to a wage that is already one of the highest in the country. Right now, the minimum wage in New York State is $12.50 an hour. It will go up to an estimated $13.20 at the end of the year. The minimum wage will be $15 per hour in New York City, Long Island, and Westchester County. Right now, only five states have a higher minimum wage than New York, but that does include neighboring states, Connecticut and Massachusetts. New York's minimum wage much higher than Pennsylvania's. They are at the federal level of $7.25 an hour. Tonight, Natalie Fami looks at the role New York's rising wage is having on a fickle job market. We're all on that same path and everybody's comfortable with knowing a five-year plan. I think basically what happens is just, you know, your prices will be affected. People can prepare ahead of time. Paul Santora, owner of Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill, says the minimum wage increase is not much of a shock. If you walk into a year, they don't do it for four or five years, and then all of a sudden it goes up $2 you know, an hour. That's that's detrimental. He says both businesses and consumers have time to prepare when the increase is expected. In New York State, the minimum wage has been on a steady increase since 2016, moving towards $15 an hour. But the pandemic changes things. The way staffing has been and the way the labor shortage has been and people coming back to work, um, the minimum wage almost seems irrelevant at this point in time. Even with the minimum wage increase coming at the end of the year, many businesses here in western New York are already paying above that. So some say it won't affect them. I don't think there's anybody hiring for less than $15 an hour in any situation. Santora says labor shortages have caused businesses to increase their wages even before the state required it. We're trying to do the best we can, not only get the best employees, but to try to pay them and figure out ways to, um, you know, to to offset those additional uh, finances that we're stuck with. He says the pandemic has had a bigger negative effect on businesses than the wage increase. Just based upon the fact of the cost just to try to get an employee in the door. Consumers can also expect to see prices increase. He says at his restaurant, customers should expect a 10 to 25% hike in prices due to both increased labor costs and supply chain shortages. You're going to see prices like that go up, you know, from where they used to be $10, $11 up to $16, $17. Natalie Fahmy, 7 Eyewitness News.